NBC 15 News starts now. Hello, I'm Amy Fluxop. Thanks for joining NBC 15 News on the web. Here's a look at the stories we're following for you today. In our continuing coverage, if you were driving on Interstate 9094 Sunday afternoon, authorities want to hear from you. Investigators are trying to get more information on the drive-by shooting near Wisconsin Dells. A woman and her family were driving home from the Dells and attempted to pass a Chevy Blazer. Investigators say the driver of the Blazer rolled down his window and fired three rounds into the vehicle. The 44-year-old woman is currently in critical condition at UW Health. Authorities chased and stopped the SUV with a spike strip. The suspect got out with a gun and deputies opened fire, injuring him. I saw the police with their doors open and the police standing outside of their vehicles. And then I also saw a car that looked like it had crashed into the wall. And there was the driver, whoever was in the car, walking across like all of the lanes. And he had a revolver in his right hand and his other hand was just waving out, you know, but he was walking. The drive-by shooting suspect is also a suspect in a West Allis homicide. There were two other men in the vehicle at the time who were also arrested. The three of them are all brothers. One of three men who may have witnessed a homicide outside of O'Grady's Irish Bar and Grill in Madison has been arrested. 35-year-old Billy Richmond was wanted on charges unrelated to the homicide. Martiz Moore was shot and killed outside O'Grady's last month. Police are still looking for two other persons of interest. They are 28-year-old Travis Smith of Madison and 25-year-old William Flowers of Fitchburg. And the Badgers will play two games under the lights at Camp Randall this upcoming season. Both will be conference games. One will be October 15th against Ohio State. They will also host the Huskers for a night game on October 29th. That's a look at the stories we're following for you today. Join us on the web for midday headlines and be sure to click on Charlie Tortino's webcast weather. Have a great one, guys.